I'm <laughs> Sean. <laughs> Alright, so, boom. Last episode, we went to the town. <clears throat> Ainz is undercover. His name is Momong. Isn't his, his mm, game. Mama. Yeah, isn't his game attack like Momongo? Momonga? Momonga. Yeah, so he just cut the G A. Yeah. There's his new name. He has three names. So. Hey, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? And now we joined a party. And we're gonna protect this the the strongest I, I guess magic user in the village. And there's this like crazy chick. They kind of remind me of oh you didn't see ReZero, but there's a character named mm. Betelgeus, and they be in dungeons and sh not dungeons caves and shit like that. So that it kind of reminds me of that. And she's kind of crazy. So something sinister is afoot, and we need to figure out what that is. She seems to be after the uh, potion guy. So we'll just see what happens with that. Yeah. All right, y'all. Y'all know what to do. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the hell's bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Check out our Patreon and our social media. Yeah, join the Discord. This game looks so peaceful. Again? Yeah. Or, I guess, real life. <laughs> it looks so peaceful. You know, I just realized something. What We've the crossed into the wise king of the forest territory. Who is this wise king? It's a very old and powerful magical creature. That haircut is killing me. It reminds me of the 90s when everyone had bowl cuts. Yeah, fuck. This guy, I think he has the coolest design. Yeah, he's pretty dope. Oh, who's that? Oh, is that Alberto? Oh, I'm guessing that's not her bid. You have your own accommodations. Why are you ah. in Lord Ayn's room? Oh my god. I was rubbing my scent into everything I could. I wanted it to be the first thing he smelled when he finally returns. Oh my god. Considering he doesn't require sleep, I doubt that will happen. Just don't overdo it. I'm sure I don't know what you mean, but we'll try. Right, Lord Ein. Uh, oh! What the fuck is that? A waifu pillow? Is that a life sized <laughs> body pillow. It is! I made it myself. Now I'm working uh, on yo. clothes for our first child. So she rubbing up on a body pillow? She ain't rubbing up, she's busting. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it was actually a waifu pillow. I'm fucking cringing, bro. <laughs> you always seem super relaxed, Nabe. Cause I ain't afraid of you punks. You know that I'm keeping you safe. It has nothing to do with you. I'm with Mr. Momon. Oh. <laughs> So, and then he just looked away. That the two of you are lovers after all? Oh, no, I never said that. Lady Alberto is the only <gasps> one he needs Stop, by his Lord side. <gasps> what are you thinking? <laughs> yeah, you spoke way too much. Who's Alberto? I'm sorry. He can be really idiotic sometimes. Please Word. forgive him. I promise he doesn't mean anything. Mind your damn it. business. It's fine. As long as he's careful from now on, we'll have no trouble. <laughs> going to get rough very quickly. The best thing you can do is stay hidden in the cart. Okay. <laughs> yeah, man. The fucking here. <laughs> that shit has to go. I'll show him that our services are worth every coin. That oh, sounds yeah. good to me. But we're not just going to watch. You'll have all the extended support we can muster. Reinforce armor! Now, nice. plan. <laughs> They're just walking up to it. Oh my god, those fucking swords are fire, bro. Oh shit. You gotta be careful with those goblins, bro. Here they come. Yeah. About time. They're a skilled party. They're aware of each other's strengths and work well together. Still, they don't hold a candle to my old allies. <laughs> Damn, bro. Chain lightning. Spirit gun! Oh, <laughs> shit. Damn, that's cool. Hey, 
<laughs> I'm out of here. Minor healing light. <laughs> what y'all need healing for? Are the ears valuable? Not on their own, but you can exchange them in other parts for a reward from the guild. It can be pretty lucrative. So crystals or rare trinkets don't just randomly drop from them. To be honest, I've never even heard of ogres carrying crystals or trinkets. I mm. see. I wouldn't mind having a sword like that. Word, his I've swords are ridiculous. Before, but I wouldn't be surprised if you're stronger than the royal head warrior. Far stronger. Mm. It's moments like these that remind me there is always a bigger fish in the sea. <laughs> Don't worry. In time, your team will be able to defeat even greater odds with ease. I'll be honest, I wanted the Archer guy to die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're pretty ass. Because <laughs> if they're hurt, if they needed healing, that suit does look good, though. What should I do? Yeah. If I drink it, it'll go between my bones. What's the matter? Is the mm. soup too hot? I can let it cool in my mouth first and feed uh, it to you that way. In my mouth first. Uh, uh. <laughs> the food's fine. In our faith, it's considered impolite to eat with several people the same day we take another's life. Oh. What? We'll leave in some interesting teachings, Master said. Yeah, he's Back quick. I've been wondering, where did the name Swords of Darkness come from? It's a reference to the old legends. The thirteen heroes. His haircut's kind of weird too. We named our party after the swords of one yeah. of the fabled warriors. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that about? Huh? Is that all? Crap! He must expect me to know it. What do I do? I don't know them. Who are they? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Here, I thought everyone knew the legends. Among the thirteen heroes, there was one called the Black Knight who wielded four powerful swords known only as the Swords of Darkness. When we started our little group, our ultimate goal was to find the swords for ourselves someday. But we needed a symbol in the meantime. So we carry these daggers as placeholders. Mm. They represent the creation of our team. And that's more important to me than any. Bro, they might get wiped. That's pretty cool, though. I like that. Yeah. Backstory. I adventured with my friends. Collected materials. It's crazy he remembers all of this, too. This has to be a VR game. all seem very close. Mm. Is it common for adventurers to get along? Yeah. We all trust each other with our lives. It helps that our team is nothing but guys, too. Throwing a girl into the mix would be distracting. Nina's not a girl? Were you on a team, Mr. Momon? It wasn't as an adventurer, but yes, I was. Yeah, I was a guild Once, leader. When I was weak and alone, only oh. my clad and white armor saved my life. He led me to the people I would eventually call my comrades. It changed me forever. And now they're working fucking regular jobs and shit. And you're still in this game. As long as I live. Einzel Gaon. You were the world to me. I'm sure that you'll find more allies just like them one of these days. That day will never come. Mm. Excuse me. Nabe, I'm meeting over here. Yes, I think I'll join you as well. Aw. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Shut up, bitch! If I had to guess, they're probably all gone. He they has are. the aura of someone who's lost all of his comrades. That feeling stays with you. But they didn't die. It's hard to they just logged out. <laughs> <laughs> just logged out. <laughs> I thought um he lost his feelings or something like that. I thought so too. I don't understand how I could have been so thoughtless. I know what it's like to lose someone you love. Right, he didn't sis. lose nobody. They just went back to work. Yeah, I don't know. That, that was kind of a weird uh, moment. They're trying to make it like emotional and shit. But like, yeah. yeah. Momon could probably give even the royal head warrior a run for his money. Huh? But that would make him adamantite class. Do you actually believe he's oh, the fuck. same level Who are of them? the strongest adventurers in the world? Who That's are what they? I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yes. I can't help feeling inadequate. Hey, he's got a few years on you. I hope it's they don't get team white, bro. That he's been training for much longer. Mm. Hold on, how do you know that he's older than Peter? Back in town, he took his helmet off for a moment and we got a good what look. What country is he uh, from? I need to know. Sorry, why? we didn't ask for specifics. He's the same race as Nabe, which might be why they're together, but she could easily get someone much hotter. I doubt that his looks are an issue. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have trouble getting with women of any race. Women instinctively <laughs> flock to men with strength, no matter their looks. It's a fact of life, my friend. It's a fact of life. 
You ain't got one sword, he's got two and the massive. Word. <laughs> he gets all the bitches. <laughs> There's this girl. I can't help being afraid that she might fall for him once we get to Karn. It's stupid, I know. <sighs> Is that all? Don't worry, I'll teach you all the ways to make a woman's knees bow. Oh, hey. Zip it! Or else! Ow! What kind of person is she? Just keep trying. <laughs> if you give up, it's all over. We'll even so support you with no extra charge. So he's just sulking? Over his friends that logged out? Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! She's fucking crazy, bro. Why are you doing this? Because you peddle information and I need someone a talented pharmacist. You want Inferior Balear. There, I told you. Now please let me go. Oh, silly <laughs> man. You could be lying to me. I should be thorough. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, I didn't say you could leave. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with that woman? <laughs> oh! Oh, what the fuck? That looks painful. <laughs> it is, but I feel fantastic. What the fuck good, is going on? Very good. Now tell me what I want to know. You need to focus, Clementine. I've Clementine? I've spent years preparing Clementine. to turn the Rantel into a city of death. But for my plan to work, I need its people to be alive. Oh, right. That spiral of death thingy. Precisely. <laughs> the same ritual that our exalted leader once tried. If done correctly, it will turn the capital into a pit of undeath overnight. If your antics continue to cause me trouble, you'll be the next zombie I create. Ooh, that's a threat. We are more okay. first than I thought. Don't be mad. That was nothing more than a love tap. We both know that's a lie. Damn, you he's fast. To impress, Kaji. It's sexy. It's sexy. <laughs> Hard to believe she was once a black scripture. Her power earned her the ninth seat of their order, but that corrupt personality made her troublesome. I'll have to keep an eye on her. I thought he was going to say I'll have to kill her. Uh, there's no bumper. Like, you know how they have, like, at the 15 minute mark or something like that, they have, like, a bumper or some shit like that. Yeah. They tell you what you're watching. Um, there's none of that, yet I feel like the episodes are stupid fast. Yeah. Like, I feel like we just, we just started. No, yeah, they, they do fly by. I don't usually like 3D yeah. in animes. I wouldn't say it's amazing here, but it, it doesn't seem out of place. It's, it's very good yeah. uh, for the show. So I, I think it doesn't take you out. And like the first time I saw those, the mobs, I was like, oh, 3D. I mean, that was kind of thing. But they did it with Irons, and he actually looked pretty good fighting. So yeah, it was and a good it, fight scene. It doesn't overstay its welcome. Hmm. You know, like it's not like the whole episode. It'll just be like a few seconds. It's nothing crazy. Yeah. yeah. I need to find out what's going on with this Clementine <laughs> chick. I feel like she's going to catch a real big death. <laughs> like she going to run into Ainz and Ainz is going to hand to her or maybe Nabe because Albeda is still <laughs> in the castle. So probably Nabe or smoke her. I don't know. I feel like she might be a Vegeta thing where she actually joins them and that uh, old dude, was it Dale? Yeah. <laughs> I, think fucking, I think Dale's going to die. Uh, Clementine will stick around. I don't know. Yeah, you might be right. That'd be crazy if she joins because she's not a part of that scripture thing that he was saying because of her fucking uh, personality or whatever. So, yeah. yeah, she may not. She may actually join. You might be right. One thing I enjoyed that they did with the dialogue is I think it was about 10 minutes in when they're, when they're at the campfire and the group of guys were talking about some 13 swords or whatever. Mm -hmm. And usually, you know, you'll bring up a group name and you're like, yeah, the 13 swords and mm -hmm. they're this big group of blah, blah, blah. And they'll go into a huge exposition, mm -hmm. but they didn't. They just said the name. And then Momongo was in his mind, like, they're not going to explain what, <laughs> but like, you know, that's how a conversation would go. Cause they would expect that he would know what they're talking about. So they wouldn't yeah. explain it. But in an anime, you know, you bring up a new uh, group that the viewer has never heard of. You just automatically go into like two minutes of exposition. Right. Yeah. So I, I, th I thought it was more natural here. How it was, it flowed like an actual conversation, which was cool. For me, it was weird how he felt about like his friends like they made it yeah. they made it seem like they died this like horrible death and 
You know what I mean? And it was literally yeah. just a slime dude. And he was like, all right, well, I'm out. <laughs> I got to work. So I'm out of here. You know what I'm saying? And like, there's a chance that they might actually still be in the game. You know? Yeah. Yeah. The whole, the whole guild, I guess, I don't know if they were supposed to meet at the beginning, like before the servers went offline or whatever, but they could have been doing something else, you know? Yeah. They have a large guild, so who knows? I hope, I hope he at least has one of his friends so we can finally see what the fuck, like why he feels the way he does toward them. Because apparently they helped with the NPCs, like make the NPCs, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, it sounds like yeah every npc was made by like at least the guardians mm -hmm. was made by like one single person so yeah. like each has a different master or whatever yeah I'm, I'm all for it i think the show gets deeper every time we watch it though the world gets bigger every episode they tell you about a new group of people a new league <laughs> of minions or villains or like a different country like i, f I just feel like the world gets bigger in every episode I do feel like I wanted to have the plot uh, expand a bit more, or at least uh, be explained upon more yeah. in this episode, because it followed the same uh, formula as the last episode, where it was the, like the last three minutes was dedicated to Clementine and a little scheme or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I did want to see her get a bit more screen time, so we could, you know, get exactly what was going on there. But maybe that's going to be like the finale or something, because we're already. Uh, episode six is there 12 episodes in the season 13 13 okay yeah, yeah so maybe it won't be the final plot maybe it'll be like the mid plot but yeah yeah it's so weird too that it's only 13 episodes a season you know like mm. i would think it would be like 20 24 25 episodes a season which which tells me that it actually gets really good because people swear by overlord so if it was only mm. 13 episodes in the first season then it must be really good and we might get hit with a cliffhanger so prepare yourself for that well let us know what you guys think would you like would you dislike about the the episode and uh don't spoil nothing all right spoiling asses what the hell's wrong with y'all let me spoiling shit <laughs> and don't forget to like subscribe hit the hell's bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos check out our patreon and our social media join the discord so we can have more discussion and we'll see you in the next one